Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so today we got a G90. Um, this is the same car when I did a short video on. I was just showing where's the location of the 12 volt battery, and I mentioned there that they're still going on because we got a 48 volt system malfunction. So I'm just gonna start a vehicle. I'm gonna show you what's going on. I'll just not use the scan tool, but so as you can see there, we got a check 48 volt system. Our battery light is on and check engine light is on so At least one um, I diagnosed this and I believe that we got a problem on our 48 volt system that's on top of the 12 volts so today we're just gonna be replacing that and confirm our fix so our 48 volts is this guy here um, I think they sent it from the head office I think this is from a, another vehicle because we cannot get this for the longest time um, so what I did when my diagnosis was I was checking our um, connections especially these three wires here so there's gonna be power coming in power coming out and our ground and I opened this one because there's also a fuse in there um, maybe I'm gonna show that or maybe not it depends but um, we're gonna replace this straightforward we got bolts here one two three four five we just have to remove this connection here and we're gonna remove the connection there so let's go in the trunk and let's remove this 48 volt okay so we're in the trunk we're just gonna remove this cover here and uh, this foam here this uh, spare tire kit and I think that should be it so let's go inside here so I'll show you on how to remove these clips because I think I already damaged one um, lucky clip for this okay so we're gonna remove this first <coughs> uh, there so I lift this black thing here and if you can like I see that this black lift and pull this um, the other end of the clip we're gonna remove this guy here and then remove our mounting vault so. I'm just gonna put the um the new one new one from the new car yeah. just gonna line up the duck the airflow duck here and that should be it. So I'm just gonna put our bolt on. connect our small connector here at the back side of the battery and just push in our new connectors here okay 
everything is color coded so you will not mess everything up okay now we go inside the car I don't know if I need to do some calibration for the battery module but we'll see okay I'm just loading our software there so let's see first if we have some calibration for the new battery there BMS, nothing. So it's just saying system identification. Okay. So we go back. Let's go to data. Um, let's go to the BMS side. Okay, so what we have right now is we got 43 volts before it was only on I think 40 something yeah 40 something um, I know I didn't show you guys the before <clears throat> numbers right so so I'm just gonna start this vehicle and let's see if we have the warning light we have the battery light on yeah we still have the battery light on in there as you can see um, but okay so the battery light on is off and I can see I have charging voltage right now 13 volts which is good um, what else needs to be checked here because last time the charging voltage that I have there's nothing there um, I was just reading the battery voltage the small battery which is 12 volt okay so I'm just gonna scan this uh, I'm guessing right now that check engine light is our um, that's our history code there so I'm just gonna do a full system scan and let's wait so what happened in this one is I think that we got a failure on the 48 volts and it was driving and it was just consuming all the 12 volts and then um, and then it happened that there's no start and everything so I'm just gonna go through with this um, system scan and we'll see well, at least now I'm happy and we don't have a warning light or a warning message for a 40 volt, 48 volt system and our battery light on I don't know why it you know I guess it was just waiting for that um, signals right um, but as of now there's no battery light on there which is good so let's wait for the full system scan all right guys so the full system is done I'll just check because the state here is history so we got still her system low voltage is pending I think he needs to see that diagnostic fault on 48 volt system which is good history so meaning the system is happy sees that so I'm just gonna clear that okay so everything is cleared let's start the vehicle make sure I don't have any warning light okay so no warning light that's nice um, let's go back to my bench um, before I end all this up um, let's see what's inside on that um, 48 volt battery so I open our cover um, these are ECU here 
here's our battery I, if I'm not mistaken yeah I think so because we got some fans there um, we got our fuse here it's a 300 amp 70 volts and I think this is just a connection here at the back so what I did when I my diagnosis is why I was just checking my connection between from this side here going to our other side here the ground side and the 48 volts so if you can see in here um, it will designate there's a 12 volt um, in this ground and a 48 volt so it's not a three phase so it's just converting the 12 volt to 48 and vice versa when the 48 volts comes in it you know converts the 12 volt to recharge our 12 volt system so um, I guess that's it guys um, I hope you enjoyed that um, video and don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time thank you for watching